All right, so this is it. This is our final Avalon microphone comparison video, and I got a surprise for you. You are not going to guess what microphone that I'm using this time. The thumbnail ruined it, didn't it? Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Low Nose. I am Lou. All right, so we did it. This is five of five in our Avalon VTS S737 SP video. And of course, well, the thumbnail of the video already gave away what microphone we are using. This is actually the Audio Technica AT899 Lavalier microphone. This is an XLR microphone actually connected to the Avalon. VT737 SP. Gosh, so many letters, so many numbers. Um, if you have any, any questions or if you want to see further reviews about this microphone or the Avalon, go ahead, check out the description and below. You'll see other reviews uh, of, about this microphone and the, the preamp down in the description below. Go ahead and click on the little Amazon link and see for yourself. All right, so let's start it up. Uh, first off, I want to be a little clear about something about this microphone and this preamp. Um, this I'm gonna go. I'm. Uh, I'm gonna start off straight off the bat. This preamp was not made for this microphone. After all, uh, after everything, all the previous. If, if you've been following along, seeing the other videos, um, this uh, this preamp has certain favorites of type of microphones that it likes. It does horrible with dynamic microphones. Um, the Shure SM7SB did completely horrible. The the noise was basically the the noise within coming from the microphone and created from the, the, the preamp was completely unusable in my opinion. And I feel it's like the same thing for this microphone. Um, I, I'm hearing like a lot of hissing in the background. I just hear a lot of background um, since it is an omnidirectional microphone. Of course, it just kind of picks up everything because a lavalier microphone does need to be ultra sensitive, but I, th I think it's just a little too sensitive. And I actually get a better sound from this microphone from my Zoom H6, which is really weird. This is like a, a $350 portable recorder, uh, and it puts off a way cleaner sound than the Avalon, the $2,500 uh, preamp. So it just kind of, you know, I guess this is for experimentation purposes, um, but let's go ahead, let's run through the whole rigmarole and kind of see how this microphone stacks up using this. Um, okay, so, as of right now, you, you hear me right now, um, before I started anything, I have my preamp set to about 35. I've got my high gain off, my low pass filter is off, uh, my compression is off, and my threshold at about uh, between 20 and 15, and my output is set to 6.7. Now, here's the w weird thing. Like the, like the Shure SM7B, the dynamic microphone, I feel like this microphone is requesting a lot of power from this preamp, which is really weird. Uh, it, it just boggles my mind. All right, so let's 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 go through the paces and let's see how this thing happens. I'm gonna reset everything so you kind of get a sense of how it sounds like from the beginning. I'll go back to zero, preamp zero. You can hear I'm, I'm sounding very low. So I, I will turn on the high gain so it actually can help a little bit. And let's start off. I'm gonna leave my threshold there because I feel that threshold just it just works fine. My attack value release. And, and I'm gonna go ahead and, no, I'm gonna go through everything and then I'll give you a sample of the, the high pass filter. So let's bring up my Let's turn up my pre-gain and let's see how much we can go. Okay. All right. So I'm bringing up my pre-gain and I'm actually getting a lot more presence. I can actually, it sounds like a more of a, a microphone sound, but I also feel like I'm also getting a lot of um, slap back S2. And it's, oh, look at that. I actually have to have my preamp all the way up to like a 42 just for it to sound kind of decent. Um, his, this is at 42. This is zero. Once again, that the high gain is on. All right. So I'll max it all the way here. And... Okay, so it's sounding pretty good, but I am getting a little of a slap back. I think, uh, you know, obviously, with all lavalier microphones, you're going to have some kind of slap back. It's never going to be as nice as a condenser microphone because of the omnidirectional nature. All right, so I'm going to settle with a 42 um, for this example here. The compression, let's see what we got with the compression. Um, as I'm talking here, I'm rolling up in the compression. Okay, and the compression is doing its job. Um, uh, we got a 5, 6. We're leaving around 3, and I'll, let's give it like a little... Uh, microphone test because you know obviously if you're in a world real world and you're wearing a they even still run the weird weird the real world anymore uh you're gonna have a uh, crazy junk drunken horny teenagers uh screaming and yelling and making mess of themselves all over this the hot fat mansion all right so so you know you're gonna be like like yo man why don't you just kind of like give me another beer 
Yeah? Give me another beer. 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 Okay. All right. So the compression works. All right. I feel like I want another beer. All right. So I'm going <laughs> to leave it at three like everything else. Um, and then let's go ahead and let's go ahead and engage. Engage. Number one, engage. Um, I'm feeling kind of comfortable. All right. And I'm going to turn up my output level just a little bit. All right. You know what? I feel like I'm a little wrong right now because when I did all my pre-test about this microphone, I was really down on this microphone and actually it's actually sounding not so bad um, on this preamp. All right, so let's go with the bass going on. Um, it's got a really good bass. Yeah, yeah, look at that. It's kind of smooth in our low mids and we'll add some high mids in our treble. Uh, let me try to set this up to a position where I think it may be good. Um, I definitely want some uh, low mids into it. I want to keep some presence. Um, I'm going to add a little treble there. And all right, but I am definitely hearing a lot more noise hissing in the background. Um, I hope you can hear it. It's it's um it's obvious in the headphones right now. And the output, um, gosh, it it sounds really boxy right now. Uh, it normally has that boxy feeling when you just kind of go up on uh, the level of the device. All right, so I'm just gonna leave it right there. Um, it actually sounds pretty good. Um, um, it it sounds better than I actually thought it would, but I thought it would. But I'm going to give you one final example, just kind of give you a sense of how this microphone kind of works with everything. So I'm going to turn off everything, and this is going to be crazy. Uh, this is, you know, I, I got this lavalier microphone because I really wanted a high-quality lavalier microphone that kind of sounded, that, that replicated a microphone uh, sound. And I, I heard a lot of great things about this, about this microphone, and it sort of lives up to it only when, okay, let me, um, let me go back on the preamp. Let me turn the compression down. Like I don't want any kind of aid. I just want volume because it's going to be drastic with what you hear. Uh, I'll leave a slight preamp. All right, so this is what you're hearing right now, right? Now check this out. See how much better this microphone sounds when it's not on my shirt. And when it's right here, tell me this does not sound freaking amazing. Why can't this lavalier mic sound like this all the time? You know, I mean, like sometimes I'm like, my God, am I using my... Like, am I using my MKH-416? Like, that's how great this thing sounds. And now here we go. So it's, it's right in front of me, right? But no one's going to wear a lavalier microphone right here. All right, let me hold, let me turn on the turn off the equalizer. All right, so it's a little more flat, still sounding freaking awesome. Now, here comes, like, the teary-eyed part. I bring it here, and right next to my shirt, and what happened? It Like, all of a sudden, you hear the airiness, the boxiness, that, that nice, fat, round sound that we were getting so used to. It kind of just, like, boop, it disappeared. All right, well, that was it. That, that, that was our 505 um, Avalon microphone compar comparison, the Audio-Technica AT899. Once again, if you have any questions or concerns or you want to see other reviews, go ahead, hit on the links down below. Feel free to check it out. All right, guys, that is it for this video. If you liked it, go ahead, leave a like. If you loved it, feel free to subscribe. And also leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about the AT899 on the Avalon. And also follow me on social media, Low Nose Sort of, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Until next time, guys, I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.